my God! What you just seen, it was a live reaction of me on Facebook and YouTube streaming as they arrest two suspects in the case of Savannah Soto. You see, these two men are now arrested in the connection of Savannah Soto and Matthew Guerra as they believe Christopher, that is Ramon's son, murdered both of them. SAPD believes that Christopher is the one that pulled the trigger, but his father is responsible for abuse of the corpse. And I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, probably handling the corpse or helping his son assist of trying to relocate them. Okay, but enough about that. Let's jump straight into the video where we first see their appearance when they got arrested. But before I do, the first person you're about to see is Ramon Graciado. And the second person, which is his son, is Christopher Graciado. But after that, we're going to jump into SAPD's short press conference on Facebook, etc. to see what they have to say about the case. Let's go look. Are you sorry for what happened? Did you know she was pregnant? Oh, always fake news, so. This is your final chance to say something about your side. Hey, guys, we're going this way. Yeah, guys, always one side. You don't even know what's going on. Back up, guys. Back up. 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 Huh? Did you care? Why was it the whole family? Close to Christmas? Remorse? Why, man? Any remorse? You sorry? Aren't you sorry for lying about what you're saying? You don't even know what's going on. Well, tell you us. You just made stuff up like always. Tell us. What's going on? Did you shoot them? Did you shoot them? Are An you unborn video? baby. Did you kill them or did you just hide the evidence? How do you know Savannah? Because of retaliation? You're sorry? Who killed it? If it wasn't you, who was it then? Watch out, guys. Oh, Cinder, see me. See me, guys. Are you sorry for what happened? Anything to say to your family? What How does it make you feel, an unborn baby? What do you want to say to your family, to Savannah, to Matthew's family? You sorry? You sorry? Nothing to say, an unborn child. It was an entire family. You sorry? Good evening, everyone. I'm Sergeant Washington Moscoso, W-A-S-H-I-N-G-T-O-N, M-O-S-C-O-S-O. -S -S so the individuals you saw this evening, the first individual's name is Ramon Preciado, 53 years old, SID number 443-651. The second individual was Christopher Preciado, 19 years old, SID number 119-1061. So the two individuals we, we, uh, we just walked out today, again, is a father and son. The first individual is a father, the second individual is a son. Uh, they're going to be charged, the, the father's, uh, I'm sorry, the son's going to be charged this, this, afternoon, this evening with capital murder, and the father's going to be charged with abuse of a corpse. And so I'm not going to go into the whole thing. We, we all know uh, what kind of led us to, this, to, to where we are today. Um, I will say that when we recover, or when, when uh, the bodies were discovered on Danny Kay, uh, obviously the investigators made that location and started collecting evidence. Um, One of the key pieces of evidence that we did collect at the scene was um, Savannah's cell phone. And uh, so our, that was given, handed over to our, tech, our technology team who was able to do, uh, download some information on there. With the assistance of the U.S. Secret Service, we were able to get enough information. Um, and so that, that information was given to our detectives today. With that information, the detective, uh, detectives were able to uh, find a possible location of where the, the suspect vehicle that was released on that, on that surveillance camera, the surveillance video, a uh, possible location where that suspect vehicle might be. 
They made that location, and sure enough, the vehicle was there. They did a little bit of surveillance on the video or on the on the uh, vehicle, and then um, were able to determine which house it belonged to. They went up, knocked on the door. Uh, the fir the first gentleman, the, the I'm sorry, the the first individual, uh, the father answered the door. He knew why the police were there. Um, was was cooperated fully with the investigation. We're right here to headquarters, and our detectives were able to start interviewing both the son and the father. Again, they were both at the home. They were both brought down here, and the and the um, interrogations began. Um, through interrogating the individuals, the uh, our detectives had enough. Uh, based on what they said, there was enough information there to get a warrant signed by a judge tonight, again, to charge Christopher with capital murder and Ramon with uh, abuse of a corpse. Again, there will be more charges pending. This is what we have right now. I'll answer any questions you might. Yes, yes. And um, so I want to touch base on something real quick. The, since the release of the video that we, set, that we put out on the 28th, uh, there has been, internet has blown up with um, people sending tips and people just sending misinformation. There was a lot of misinformation out there. These two individuals are, to, are the only sus suspects that we were looking for. They, they were arrested. There were many names being thrown around on the internet. Uh, those people had nothing to do with this. We, we vetted them and, and everything. They, they didn't have anything to do with these murders. So the individual, the, again, Christopher, uh, we believe committed the murders of, of Matthew and Savannah. And then Ramon uh, helped kind of dump the body. Um, it, it appears to be a narcotics, a narcotic related deal that, that went bad. Do we know the connection between this father and son and Matthew and Savannah or the uh, connection to the apartment complex? So there's no apparent connection to the apartment complex. It's just a place where they want to go dump, uh, dispose, or hide the vehicle with the bodies in it. And it appears that um, the it was a drug deal. So there was like a drug connection to the uh, the suspect and the two victims. It's just when you um, hide, hiding the body, moving the body after after uh, discovering that and all that kind of stuff. Yep. So uh, the, the um, December 21st, which was a Thursday, just before midnight is when the actual murders took place uh, on that. Mm -hmm. Right, so the, um, like I said, there's going to be possible charges pending, more, more charges pending. Our detectives are going to talk with the Bear County DA to determine if they're going to be any charges, face, uh, they're going to be facing any charges related to the unborn baby. And do we know if she was dilated at all? If, or if I didn't have that information from the medical examiners. I know that she was scheduled to be induced uh, and she didn't make her appointment, which is why the, the family went to the police to make the, to file the missing persons report. Did he say where, where exactly they killed her? I don't have exactly location. We just know that they were killed from a, at a different location and then taken to that the apartment complex to um, to dispose of the to dispose of the vehicle and the the body. What did they, was he, were they buying or selling? Well, I mean, someone was buying and someone was selling, so it was a it was a drug. I'm sorry, who? No, he was not. He was not there during the commission of the murder. He was called afterwards to help dispose or help his son. Did in, you say a I'm sorry. Did you say a previous record? Uh, Christopher has no previous criminal history, and Ramon did have a small. Um, he had some some prior criminal history. So, are you all done looking for suspects at this? Yeah, point? we don't have any other suspects that we're looking for. And that surveillance video. Were they alive during that surveillance video? They were not alive. They were not alive. No. Question, guys. Christopher killed them. They moved the bodies to the car. Correct. Well, I mean, I don't know if you moved them into the vehicle. Um, that they, the vehicle with the bodies in, was driven to that apartment complex. It didn't happen at that apartment complex. So ultimately, who's going to make the decision on the crime of charges? Is that going to be the DA's office? Correct. Yes. So uh, our our detective again tonight are charging them with capital. Uh, Christopher with capital murder, and Ramon with. Uh, Abuse of a corpse. They they are working on some other charges that they're going to uh, file, 
but regarding, I think, specifically the question that you had about the, the unborn baby, they're going to have a, a conversation with the DA to determine whether they can uh, charge or um, put the baby as another victim on this. Does, it, does the city have any say whenever they talk to the DA's office? Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's a collaboration with our, with our DA's office. Our detectives are going to do everything they can to, to bring justice to the family. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you all for coming. I don't know about you, but you can immediately see the fear in both of their eyes, especially Ramon saying fake news. Give me a break. To me, there's some similarities in his physicality in the video we saw of someone getting out that truck. But regardless of that, SAPD strongly believes that they have the right person, hence why they are arrested and will be trialed and convicted. Many people believe that there is a third suspect. I actually believe that as well because it looked like somebody was also in the trunk throwing a white towel at Ramon. But there is still much to uncover. Still things that SAPD knows about that we don't. Best to believe I will be covering this every single day till we find out even more answers for the Savannah Soto case. But I will be covering this. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like, comment below, anything to support the channel i would appreciate that very 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 much you can actually click one of these videos right here because these are my live podcasts on facebook and youtube and trust me the live podcasts are insane and very informative thank you so much for watching until then i'll see you on the next one